Hi everybody, welcome back to the uh, channel. We have another project in our hands. Uh, we're gonna be painting the, uh, the fascia all the way around this house. We're gonna be repainting all of that right there. All the way around. This is what we call the, uh, the fascia. We are not gonna be painting the metal right above it because the customer doesn't want to change the color and that. We're just going to be uh, peeling all this old paint. And let me show you with my hand. We're going to be peeling all of that right there. And then we're going to be patching before we do the painting. I always tell people that uh, they should really look into repainting these uh, wood fascias like every three or four years, it all depends on how much water, how much rain we get in the season. We can see uh, Benito and Alejandro still dealing with the scraping, with the prep work. Look at that. So this is very uh, crucial. You don't want to send someone that eats more than 140 pounds to do this type of work. Use the plank and then everything should be should be okay. Alejandro is already putting the cocking in there in the corner. And you guys can see how you guys have to patch every gap into the fascia. Uh, you do want to make sure that everything gets prepped before filling as much as you can. And then let it dry for uh, about an hour or so. And then you can go back do the actual uh, painting afterwards yeah look at this big mess I mean this uh, fascia wood was really damaged and we had to do a bunch of patchwork all the way around this is what happens when uh, when you don't do the maintenance properly remember you have to do this uh, type of work that we're doing on, on the fascia board every three to five years you don't want to let it pass more than five years if you don't have to otherwise you will you'll be dealing with all this work We're gonna do this the, uh, the old fashioned way. We're gonna do it with the brush and the roller. And uh, in this particular situation, it's the best thing to do. This is a uh, Sherwin Williams A100, 100% acrylic. But this is gonna be a flat finish. It's 100% uh, acrylic, so uh, in other words, this is this paint, it's, it's like, like washable paint, although it's a flat finish. It's really, really good stuff. And uh, Benito's gonna start painting in there. But everything has been prepped and it's ready to go. Benito and Alejandro are painting the fascia already. After we're done, this uh, fascia board will be good for up to I want to say it between three to five years with no uh, issues whatsoever. So we are doing everything the old fashioned way with the brush and a small roller. We're going to let it dry for a little bit 
and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do another coat We are done with the first coat on the uh, fascia board. You can see how the paint is uh, drying. And uh, I mean, it's looking pretty good. Way better than before. All right, guys, we're almost done with the second coat. Uh, Benito's gonna do this, this side of the house from this corner to that corner. And then uh, there's a couple more guys working on the other side. You want to make sure that uh, you put two coats if you didn't do the primer coat. Alejandro and Manuel are working on this side with the second coat. Everything got painted twice. Take a look guys, it's, it's two coats, it's all dry, and uh, it looks way better than before. It's not perfect because the wood is it, very old, but at the same time it, it's, it's a lot better than before. So like I said before, thank you for uh, watching. And if you want to do something like this on, on your own, this will give you an idea of exactly what to do. So thank you again, and we will see you on the next video.